Attention gamers, the Boz FF was recently nominated for League of Legends Streamer of the Year but losing to Tyler1 was only the second worst he's ever been beaten by a toxic midget as he was just matched up against the rank 1 Teemo on his server. 4.5 million points on Teemo, are you out of your mind? What is this, what is this pro, what is this guy's problem? And for anyone wondering what it's like to go against something like this, I think this sums it up. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Can I AFK? Holy fuck, this is unplayable. I am dumb, man. Ay, ay, ay. And this is a fucking nightmare, dude. Fuck. Only enough today, we are going to see how he got dumpstered by a douche who devoted his life to Teemo, and then we'll take a deeper look at what this sad, sad human being does in his games. Those who have laned against a Teemo will be able to relate to the pain, while I'm sure some will be all boo who he's still making bank. But here's the thing anyone can make bank while inting in their games just by using buff. Buff is an app that you run while playing your vidi games as it tracks your sessions while earning you points just for spending time in the games and completing achievements. It works for a metric buttload of popular games and it's adding more all the time like Fall Guys. It's authorized by Overwolf that supports over 9 million users today and this sexy Lexi Lux skin I got for free just by using Buff. Once you've earned enough points you just head to their shops and can redeem them for all sorts of goodies both in game and in real life not to mention there's tons of new features like buff battle passes and automatic game highlight recordings so use my link below to try buff today and you will get a total of 100 buff points just for signing up so like the boss ff. You can earn cash while inting it away in your games. And speaking of the devil he decided that an all out brawl to the death level 1 slap battle would be the best use of his fists but Bowson attracts the attention of 3 baby wizards and then so many flashes come out it looks like a strobe light party as Timo ends up on top and basically, he knows this is gonna be bad. Pug just got a snowball out of control now, god damn it man. But he quickly starts pushing like he hasn't had a good shit in weeks and calls for his species fluid jungler to come in and dive this spitballing hamster which goes well. Let's go, big. But his joy only lasts until he gets back to lane and has to deal with spit in his face every time he even glances at a minion. How the fuck do I farm? But his mom didn't comb his hair with that cute side part before stream just for him to get bullied so he strategizes that if he lets the little shitter attack him enough to build his shield he'll be able to charge up a fat falcon punch and then still die in a fight that wasn't even close. <laughs> Holy fuck, this is unplayable. And you know what they say, when you are getting your dick kicked in an Eat even one-on-one, on one, just dive two turrets deep and try to proxy a wave in front of the little fed ferret. What's the worst that can happen? Aye, aye, aye. But despite being 0 and 3 blood leaking out of his giga chad dick hole he is out in front of his wave looking to tussle until he walks into a fatal fungus and Captain Timo is out like a shark who smelled blood hopping on the opportunity to spit in this guy's face and extend a fight until Bowson gets butt plugged. Now this is a fucking nightmare dude, fuck. You can tell that laning against a rank 1 Teemo is starting to tilt the man. Yo, you should've bought Doran shield bro. You're being permanently banned, I am done man. There's no way you're not being banned. An ally has been slain. Where are you little rat? And I know the boss FF is known for bringing popularity to the Turbo Virgin strategy known as Inting Cyan, but I have to say on any other champ it doesn't seem to be nearly as effective. Oh. But let it be known that I for one am a fan of this man so I don't want this video to come off like I got paid to deep throat a handful of laxatives and shit all over him which is why I want to highlight the one clip where despite getting stomped all game he did indeed manage to pull off the impressive solo bolo. Oh. This was then followed by him dying 1v4 and moaning. Oh. Then dying 1v4 and moaning again. No, 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 fuck yeah. And he may have been 2 and 9 but I guess his confidence levels were high. I think I'm pretty strong. So yeah let the record show that even at the highest E lows it is not fun to lane against a Teemo, let alone a rank 1 for that matter but I wanted to take a deeper look into this dumpster rat's POV to give some of us hard stuck shitters some insight into how this soulless strat can be pulled off. In this game he was laning against a wind shitter which made me personally very happy and a perk of playing Teemo is that any auto attack based jungler who comes in is quickly going to learn why Ray Charles was never invited to go to the shooting range with the boys as Kindred gets blinded and beat up and then the teensy weensy demon chases off the Yone right after. 
Then what I noticed is this piece of shit likes to push waves and then turn on incognito mode just waiting for the bad guy to think he's all alone which creates a proverbial can opener for what many would call a can of whoop ass. He deploys little stealth shitters and then starts taking the enemy jungler's buffs before using them to bully the absolute piss out of this spirit blossom wind shitter. Eventually they catch on that the little kleptomaniac will be back in the forest awaiting Red's next spawn and they probably celebrate the quick win of scaring him off but I think the quote about winning the battle but losing the war is tattooed on this Teemo's vengeful little fur taint as he plays kill the Karthus right after. Then the pattern of him J chillin' like a moo fucking villain with his cloak of invisibility on continues as he spits a bit declines the invite to get fruit ninja and then waits for the sped shitter to burn to death. Global objectives are then soloed by him to snowball his team's lead and every encounter with Logan Paul to Yasuo's Jake is more one-sided than a 2D image. He drops off the Godzilla crab that he recently acquired like it's daycare and he's all like okay go tackle some towers while your demon daddy joins up with his friends to commit group homicide against any poor shitter that comes in his way, as he single-handedly dismantles half the enemy team before going down himself. At this point it's almost like he's stuck an apple air tag up that Yone's ass the last time he killed him because no matter where he is on the map, this Timo finds him and hunts him down. Turns out Timo mains are extremely territorial of large river wieners so if rels are seen around them they get killed and if the floating statue of liberty tries to get flashy and sneak in the back door it is guaranteed he will not be having a good time. And so yeah this terror continues as this is what the majority of this one trick Timo's games look like in case anyone is looking to sell their soul and commit full time to such a devious devil. Sub to Papa please. Rav out.